In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on simultaneous linear equations by the method of cross multiplication. So, as discussed in the previous video, we know that the first step is to write down x minus y and 1 and fill in the denominators below them and of course equate them all. So, below x, leave the coefficients of x, take the others. So, as far as y is concerned, we've got a minus 1 and a plus 1 and the constants are minus 3 and minus 3. And below minus y, leave the coefficients of y, take the rest. So, as of x is concerned, it's 2 and 4. The constants are minus 3 and minus 3. So, when you're taking 1, you leave the constants and take the rest. That is, the coefficients of x is 2 and 4. Coefficients of y is minus 1 and plus 1. So, now cross multiply in the form of a ribbon like this. So now, here we have x divided by minus 1 into minus 3 is plus 3. And minus of 1 into minus 3 is minus 3 equals minus y divided by 2 into minus 3 is minus 6. Minus of 4 into minus 3 is minus 12 equals 1 divided by 2 into 1 is 2. Minus of 4 into minus 1 is minus 4. So, we have x divided by 3 minus of minus 3 is 3 plus 3 which is 6 equals minus 1 divided by minus 6 minus of minus 12 is minus 6 plus 12 which is plus 6 equal to 1 divided by 2 minus of minus 4 is 2 plus 4 which is 6. So now all that we have to do to find x and y is equate x by 6 to the constant 1 by 6. So you get x equals 6 by 6 which is 1. So x equals 1 and you have minus y by 6 equals 1 by 6. You have minus y equals 6 by 6, which is 1. So, if minus y equals 1, then y equals minus 1. So, the values, uh, so we've successfully solved these two simultaneous linear equations uh, by the method of cross multiplication. And we found the values of x and y to be 1 and negative 1, respectively. This problem is done. So, let us quickly solve another problem, which does not involve much of numbers. So, here we've got two equations uh, in which we've got the variables as well as a constant. You need to note that the variables are x and y as always and the constants are the a's and b's. So, the first step is obviously to write it in this form x plus y minus of a plus b. You're getting the constant to the left hand side equal to 0 and ax minus by minus of a square minus b square equal to 0. So now let us write x minus y and 1. Now since we do not know how long it's going to be, let us first finish with x. So leave the coefficients of x, take the others. So we've got we've got 1 and minus b and we've got minus of a plus b and minus of a square minus b square. So it's going to be like this. Minus y divided by, leave the coefficients of y, take the coefficients of x, 1 and a, and these constants, minus of a plus b, and minus of a square minus b square. Cross multiply, and equal this to 1 divided by, leave the constants, take only the coefficients of the variables, we've got 1 and a, and we've got 1 and minus b, right? So, now solving this, we get x divided by 1 into minus of a square minus b square is minus of a square minus b square minus minus b times minus b times minus of a plus b like this right so this is equal to minus y divided by 1 into minus of a square minus b square again is minus of a square minus b square minus of a times a times minus of a plus b equal to 1 divided by 1 into minus b is minus b minus of a into 1 is a right so this is where it stands so now let us continue from here so we have the next step as x divided by Let's take in the minus sign, so it becomes minus a square, minus of minus b square is plus b square, and minus of minus b is uh, plus b, and so plus b into minus a 
is going to be minus a b and minus or minus b is plus b. So plus b into minus b is going to be minus b squared equal to minus y divided by minus a squared plus b squared. Because minus of a squared is minus a squared and minus of minus b squared is plus b squared. Minus a into minus a is plus a squared and minus a into minus b because this minus into this plus b is minus b. So minus a into minus b is plus a b equal to 1 divided by minus b minus a. So now continuing x divided by now the b square and the b square gets cancelled. All that is left is minus a square and minus a b. So you can you can see that a is the same in both the terms. So take out minus a. You will have only a if you take out minus a and you will have only b here. Plus b. Minus a into a is minus a square and minus a into plus b is minus a b. This equal to minus y divided by you have a square a square getting cancelled and b square and a b. b is common. So take out b. You have got b plus a. equal to 1 divided by, let's take out the negative sign and we'll write it as a plus b. So we've got it here. So all that we have to do now is equate this to this constant and equate this to this constant. So first let's find x. So x divided by minus a into a plus b equals 1 divided by minus of a plus b. So x will be equal to minus a into a plus b divided by minus of a plus b, which is nothing but a plus b, a plus b gets cancelled and minus minus gets cancelled. So therefore, x equals a. So we found the value of x to be equal to a. Now let us solve for y. So all that you have to do to find y is uh, take the y term, that is minus y divided by b times b plus a equals 1 divided by minus of a plus b. b plus a is same as a plus b. So minus y equals b times a plus b divided by minus of a plus b. Or you can write y equals the negative 1 goes down so it becomes b times a plus b divided by a plus b. So you've got a plus b, a plus b getting cancelled. So you've got y equal to b. So therefore, we've solved this equation and we found the values of x and y by the method of cross multiplication to be a and b respectively. So it's the same thing. Don't worry if it is just alphabets. You just have to follow the same steps and the same process and you'll get to the answer. So that's all that there is to solve as far as this problem is concerned. So this ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on simultaneous linear equations. Thank you.